to try okay, to good. integrate what I say and okay, it's not good. clear. Okay. So here at the front, you have your tongue jack, which is automatic. Okay, and then you do have some docking light, and then also docking light up here. Is there a uh, flat uh, platform that comes? Yes, so there is a foot. And okay. we'll show you that. Can we switch that before yeah. we take I off? can switch that out okay, for you. Cool. Okay, you have your seven point pin. Okay. Plug in your breakaway cable for your emergency brakes on the trailer, and then of course the chains. Mm -hmm. You do have your two 20 pound um, LP tanks, which are full. And then right here on this dial right here, it tells me I can feel a little notch. It's gonna pull off of this one right here. So if I open this up, which it was already pressurized from when we check them, okay. this and thing will turn green. And is there a cover that goes over this? It's right there. Okay. So I have this on and this will flip over green, okay? okay. If you have them both on, and this one runs out of gas, it'll automatically start pulling off of this tank. And then you just have to come out here and switch the dial yourself. Okay. Okay? You have your 12 volt battery located right here. And then right behind this um, propane tank is your kill switch for your battery if you want to kill the battery. Because you have two things that pull off of that battery, your 12 volt refrigerator, and then there is a carbon dioxide detector that's hot wired into the unit. That's federal law. If we're plugged into uh, tower electric at this campsite, should we disconnect, turn that off or leave it Nope, you're fine. Okay. Right here is your quick specs for the camper, your dry weights and stuff like that. And then for your tire, you have your PSI and then your dimensions. The PSI has been checked okay. and the um, lug nuts have been torqued down 100 pounds and that's per manufacturer's request. Right here you do have your cable um, hookup. So at the campsite, if they offer this to you, this is where you're gonna feed that signal into the camper, okay? okay? You have your city water connection right here. So this is where you would put a garden hose and this is what's gonna pressurize the camper the water, okay? okay. Also right beside it, this is where your water pump is located. So if you were to do any type of um, winterization through your water pump, if you wanted to put the antifreeze through the lines, you would turn the knob inside, there's a valve, you would turn and that would create a suction and then you can siphon that stuff out of the container into the camper that way. Okay. Okay. Your front docking lights that make the big V right here, uh -huh. the light switch for that is right here. Okay. okay? And then you do have your cubby hole, which is through and through. Yep. Okay. And that is on a uh, magnet. Okay. You do have an outdoor shower right in here with a shower hose, and it does offer hot and cold. Okay. And then this is your fresh water tank. So this is your tank system itself. Okay. This is the water you're going to take with you if you wanted to go boondocking or whatever. So you would just put the garden hose in there and fill that tank up. And inside you can monitor the levels on your panel. Okay. Okay. Then your power cord, which is a 30 amp, and it does come with the camper, and I'll have it stored away in here when I close everything up. Okay. okay. Like I said, you're on a magnet. Open does right the up. city water go through the fresh water tank? No. Okay. Nope, that goes right into the camper, and then we'll, I'll explain everything okay. with this, okay? Right. So in here, you do have <clears throat> your starter kit. Okay. Which comes with a couple tops gloves, camping information, uh -huh. some bio pouches to get in the directions are on the back of these on how to use those. Okay. You have your 30 amp converter plug to a 110. Okay. Free toilet paper, 25 foot garden hose, and then you have a little sewer hose to get you going and okay. there's the bucket itself. All right. Okay. Perfect. Pitch is all in here. Okay. The foot that you were wondering about is located right here. Okay. okay. So you want that on? Yep. Okay. There to remind me. So this is your hand crank right okay. here for your stabilizers, yep. which are located on all four corners of the unit. Okay. okay. Get everything out of here. what everything is it's all in here and then you have right here is 
an extra bracket for your bike rack on okay. the front there if you want it to go a different direction. Okay. okay. So you do have that. Right here, this is an LP hose. Okay. This will be your quick connect for your griddle, which is located in the big box. Okay. And then the gray um, table right there, I'll show you on the other side of the camper where that hooks onto. All right. And then the other box is some more brackets and stuff for your griddle. Okay. Okay. So that's all your griddle system, and then this guy, and I'll show you where this hooks into, okay? okay. Also in your black bag. A metal spatula oh, for nice. your griddle. Cool. I didn't buy one, so good. Yeah. And then what they do in here, they give the customer, there will be four of these. Okay. Little hardware, some screws, all right. a TP roll, and a bath towel rack. Okay. Or, yeah, hanger. Yep. And then you guys can put that where you want in your bathroom. They okay. leave that oh, up okay. to you guys to where you want that located right. in the bathroom. Okay. So that's all in here. Okay. An extra little sewer, sewer hose connect. yep. connection. And then if you want to put a second battery on, you can have the cables to jump okay. over. Okay. And then also you have your water filter. Okay. So I'll show you where that would go. So right. where your water pump is located. There's a cylinder that you would stick this down in there to help filter the water as okay. it comes through. Okay. Now, as I understand, the camper has been winterized, so we'll need to flush that before we. The winter. What we do is when we bring these in, um, they are full of antifreeze. Uh -huh. So we hook up to your um, fresh water tank. We fill that up to one third. And then we take that water and we pump it over here into your hot water tank. Uh -huh. Turn the hot water tank on, warm the water up. And as it's doing that, we go ahead and hook up to your city water. And then we go ahead and we flush all the antifreeze out of the lines. So you'll do that before we go? We, it's already been done. Oh, okay. That's part of our inspection. Awesome. Right. Okay. So it's good to Yep. Fire so this up. has all been flushed out. Okay. Hot water has been um, checked in the placements. Hot water tank has been emptied. Your tanks have been filled to one third, your black and gray, and your fresh. Fresh is empty, black and gray should be empty. And then what we do is we go ahead and we hook up an air hose to this with a little thingy, like that thingy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and we blow the whole system out. Oh, okay. Okay, so there is no water Nothing. left in the okay. system. There is a little bit of air freeze down in your sink traps and stuff like that, but that's gonna go right into your tank. So you guys are ready to go. Oh, awesome. awesome. Which you would call, I guess, dewinterized. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So, yep. Cool. Just keep in mind that um, your faucets and stuff are open just okay. because we don't want air to build up in the right. line. So shut those off before we turn the pump on. Or that, or yeah. That water or just go in. ahead and make sure, you know, push the air through there okay. or whatever. Okay. So just keep the, yeah, keep that in mind. Everything, and even this gotcha. is open. Okay. okay. Or should be open. So okay. we need to turn all those off. Yep, so when you come to the hot water tank, uh -huh. this is where the water's gonna come first because the valves have been turned, okay? Okay. So what we do is we go ahead and we pull this straight out because uh -huh. we're gonna purge it. We're gonna get the air out. Water starts coming out this little valve right here. Then you know that it's full. Okay. And you just wanna go ahead and shut that guy right there. Okay, as soon okay. as it starts putting water out. Please. Yep, so okay. you know it's full, shut that. And then you can go ahead and turn on your electric. Your electric switch is down here. Uh huh. And then your gas is right in here, which that's a button inside because it's self ignites, so you don't have to do anything. You don't so have it'll to start itself. So. Yep, you don't have to do it. There's no so light So just out a here. quick, I, I put, hook the water up, start, turn it on when we get ready. Watch for it to come out here. Yep, open this open up. Open that, water comes out, close that, and the wa hot water tank is full. And, and then you we're can good start to go. heating your water up. Yep. Okay. When you're done with this, uh -huh. just kind of open that up just for like your vent. And then right here is your plug. Okay. So that's an anon rod inside there and you would just get a socket wrench or whatever. And then you want to take that out and that's how the water's going to come out. When we go to drain it and get yeah. it ready for the winter. Yeah. Gotcha. You want to drain it. Anytime you want to drain the okay. hot water tank. Yep. Okay. All right. And then underneath here, if you do put water in your fresh tank, and you don't want it in there no more for whatever reason, you know, you're done. Yep. So right here it's labeled fresh water drain. Uh -huh. And it is a white valve right here. Okay. And that's open, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Okay. And that's a quick one. All right. Okay. And what is push to reset? Is I think that has something to do with maybe your electric element, maybe okay. there's an issue or something okay. as far as I, I 
I'm not sure I'm clear on what all that stuff is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Come back here. This is just a bumper for the door. Okay. And then here is your waste system. Okay. So your waste system consists of gray yep. and black. And then your main hookup right there. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to double check to make sure they emptied it. Okay. Stuff like that before I pull them. I don't want to pull them in the Right. And then out. have it coming out. Yeah. So yeah, usually they empty them, but every okay. once in a while things get overlooked or gotcha. whatever. But yep. I will double check it inside. All right. So, and then other than that, I'll close everything. I'll okay. just go ahead and close it up. Because you don't want to go down for it. I don't think. Gotcha. All right, then you do have your back door right here. Okay. So you have this bunk bed. All right. And there's a ladder. Okay. And there's another one up here. Do you happen to know the weight capacity? Of I think you're around 300 pounds. Okay. Yep. And then your storage, and then you have access inside, you'll see, okay. to the storage right, right. here. Cool. Okay. Then you do have your ladder to get to the roof. It's okay. 250 pounds on that, 500 on the roof. Okay. We have been on the roof, okay. and we videotaped all your seals and stuff like that. So everything looks good up there. Awesome. Right here is your black tank flush. So okay. if you want to help assist mm -hmm. on getting that black, you know, the black tank cleaned out, you can go ahead and put a guard hose in there. Okay. And push that stuff out. Okay. The camera is located there. Will they put that on for me before I take off? It's on. Oh, it's already on. Cool. It's on. So when we hook it up, I'm going to come back here. I'll have to climb up the ladder because obviously it's pointing straight down. Gotcha. And I'll adjust, adjust that. Adjust for us. Great. Or, you like it. Awesome. Stabilizer. Yep. And then right here is the battery table for your, mm -hmm. yep, your griddle and stuff like that. And then the hose that I was saying you hook into uh -huh. the griddle and then you go ahead and bring it down right, right here. there. Yep. Okay. And then there here's the valve, the valve. to control the gas. So okay. Open that up because it comes right off your propane tank. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then you do have an outside outlet. Awesome. And then up here, this is your hood range. Okay. Vent. And you just close it up when you're traveling. When you get to where you need and you want to use that vent or exhaust system on your hood. You would just open that up. So you just flip those two tabs up? Yeah, that's how we do Gotcha. That. Okay, perfect. So I just got to close it down when yep. you're traveling. All right. Outside speaker. Okay. This is considered a porch light. Okay. And then you have your furnace vent right here. All right. This does get really hot, so just keep that in mind. Okay. okay? And then with your awning, when uh -huh. it's up against the camper, it's locked into place. You don't have to use any pins or straps or anything okay. to hold it into place. All right. It's good to go down the road just like that. Does the furnace just ignite itself? Yep. If, once it has power and you just turn the, or gas is on and you just turn the thermostat up, it'll come on. Yep. Awesome. Everything is so, so finite as far awesome. as furnace and hot water tension. Your low point drains are located underneath here. Okay. And that's for like your winterization stuff. All right. So that's the low point where you can get everything drained out of the camper when you go to winterize. Okay. Oh, okay. The lowest point for all the water. Yep. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. <clears throat> Sorry. That's all right. You have a tube right here. Yep. That's where you're going to store your sewer hoses so you gotcha. don't have to put them up in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then your spare tire is located right underneath there. Okay. The access. Great. I think there's a hole there. Oh, yeah. There to get to that and that lowers it right there yeah and i would just use the crank that i use yeah. for the jack right yep okay yep. perfect you do have another bumper right here okay and then of course That'll you want to lock your lock door it. in okay. hold that door all right so when you put these stairs up you want to make sure your awning is all the way in okay okay to put them up or pull them out yep because you need this door in to clear yeah yep because you need it as open as you can to get because the stairs this, up yeah this right bracket right here right. to hit the screen okay so Good. Right now I have that open yep. a little bit so I can't do it. Yep. All right, and then the other side of your cubby hole. Yep. And you do have some light. Okay. And you got on another one on that side right. too. Cool. Okay. And then if you want to, you can have portable solar panels All off right. to the side because you do have one have on the one roof. Up there. Okay. And then one right here if you okay. want that portable. All right. Okay. Awesome. All right, let's go check out the inside. Okay. This is great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We ordered this October 17th, so. Yeah, we're starting to get October, November people in. Yeah, <laughs> this is beautiful. All right, so when you first come in, uh -huh. right here is your panel. Okay. So you have your lighting system right here. So you have your interior lights. Okay. Okay, and what you see not come off, I went ahead and pushed 
the poppets in the middle and stuff and turn that on. Gotcha. Okay. So your porch light, which was the little orange guy out here. Yeah. Your awning, which is the LED strip along the... Uh, okay. Hey, Nathan. <laughs> along the yep. awning there. Yep. And then your step light is this little guy right here. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. And then right here, you have your slide out. So if you wanted to bring it in, uh -huh. you can bring it in. A little bit. I'll show you that. And then, you know, if yep. that's where you want, you yep. can stop it to flood off. And then when we go back out. And then you just let it go until it stops. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one might click. Let's see. Nope, don't click. Okay. So, yeah, when it's done, it's done. Okay. And then your awning, obviously, right here. So you're going to extend it. And will it stop when it's fully extended or you know? You just let off the button. Okay. Yeah. It'll pretty much stop when it's fully extended. Obviously it's going to go further. Yep. There's a wall right here. Okay, but it'll stop when it's fully extended. Yeah, okay. And, and the same you, coming in. And you have this six points right here on both sides. So what you want to do with these if you don't want to, if it's a little raining or whatever right. and you don't want the water to collect in the middle. You can yeah. go ahead and just great. pull these down. Yeah, I'll be like floating so around. All right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right now, just to give it a little yeah. slope yep. so it'll and water then, off. Yep. Tilt down and okay. stuff like that. But okay. I'm and then so close to the you top. need to push that back up before you. No, it'll adjust itself. It'll when you go. Yep. To, okay. And that's on both sides. Awesome. Okay. All right. All right. And then also on your panel right here uh -huh. is your water pump. Okay. So if you're boondocking and you want to bring fresh water, you know, in your tank t up yep. to, you would just hit your water pump. Okay. And once you can leave it on, because uh -huh. once it hits its full capacity of pressure, it'll it stops. Down. Okay. And then once you pull again, it'll kick back on and repressurize. Right. So with your hot water tank, you have your gas and electric. So outside we have the electric one. Yep. And then here we have electric one. They both need to be on at the same time. Okay, okay. so there's a switch out there that I have to have on and then here And then well. electric one in gotcha. here too, because it kind of overrides that one. It's kind of like a safety thing, so you're not burning your element up just gotcha. in case. And if you want to use gas, which you can use gas and electric at the same time, let's go ahead and turn that one on. Obviously that turns blue, that light comes on, and I have your gas open, so I don't want it to. So a gas heater and an electric heater for water. Mm -hmm. So. Do you want both of them on, or do you just normally just use one? If you're just casually camping and everyday life, you know, you're on your, I would just use electric if you're fun. Yeah, because we're parking it at a seasonal site that has electric sewer and the uh, water. Yeah, so, so I would use just the electric use, yeah. One. Okay. The gas is just a little bit more for like boondocking, right. or if you get somewhere and you need hot water a little bit faster than what mm -hmm. the electric can okay. give you. Okay, that'll help boost it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then you have your tank heaters, okay. which if you're going to get below freezing uh -huh. and you don't want that stuff right. freezing in your tanks, go ahead and turn that on. It's on all the tanks. It's all like a tanks. little thing. Okay. Yep. Okay. And it'll bring it up to about 40 degrees per freezing. Awesome. Okay. Cool. And then right here is where you're going to keep track of your tanks and your battery. Okay. So your battery is completely full. All right. Your fresh tank's empty. Okay. And we're going to find out what yeah. they did. Yeah. It's empty. And they're both empty. Cool. So I don't have to worry about filling right. those. Right. Okay. So, okay. And then just yeah, that's how you keep track of those. Okay. okay. Alrighty. And and if I understand correctly, I can just use this QR code to get an app to control some of these things. I believe so. Okay. Yes, I'll figure I that out so. later. Yeah, especially it'd be nice for your um like your awning. Yeah. If you guys take off or whatever, run to the store. Right. And something comes up that you didn't know, I and forgot then to you can go yeah. Shut it. Close it up. Nice. Yep. This is cool. Yep. And we'll dry and rack over your sink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Outlet. Okay. This is going to be where heat comes out. Okay. And then your air conditioning will be up here. All right. So the air comes out on both sides of this. Okay. And you can control the flow through those dials. All right. And this is your intake, and there's little filters you can just wash okay. out with water. So with these little black slashes, and this is your settings. All right. And your pool is actually your air. Gotcha. Okay? So you can have just a fan or cool. Yep. And yep. Fan. yep. And then you can That's kind of control the temperature a little right. bit. There's no heating element in it, but you can kind of maybe warm the air up. Right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So then you have your sink and then right here on your oven, uh -huh. your stove top. This part right here, this is, you can store knives in it. It's oh. not a vent. There's nothing back there. Your vent's right in here. Okay. So if you want to store your cutlery back oh, there, you can. Cool. 
I already mm -hmm. knew about that. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> some people know, some people don't. Yeah. All right, and then on your um, stove top right here, the three knobs mm -hmm. middle is what controls up the here. Burners. This okay. is your striker. Okay. And this is for the oven. Okay. So with the oven or the stove yep. top here, you just turn it over and then strike it. Oh, and nice. then it'll turn right on. With your oven, you want to take it to the flame and kind of hold that in. Okay. okay. Your pilot light down underneath here. All right. And I like to, what I do to purge it is I'm, I'll just like put it on some temperature. Okay. And try to get it to bleed. And then I hold it in to help purge it more. Uh -huh. And hopefully, it takes a minute. Anything? Not yet. I can see it flashing, but not like. Let's see if I can purge it a little bit. Okay, the, there's a, it's like there's a pilot lit now. Yep. So just kind of hold it, that's your pilot light. Oh, okay. And then you can go ahead. So the first it. thing you're doing is you're actually lighting the pilot light. Yep. Okay. okay. And that's what the striker's for. So when you take it to the flame, all you're doing is trying to get the pilot light sure. to work. That way you don't have to use matches or light yeah. or anything. And then like when you that. shut it off, it'll turn the pilot off. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good to know. And it doesn't matter where this is at. Right. It just doesn't wherever it's at, you just spin up. it. Yep. It's, it's just a striker. Okay. Okay. And you do have a little bit of storage underneath here. Okay. Your intake for your furnace and does heat does come out of there a little and bit. Is this just what illuminates these knobs? This yeah. Your, okay, cool. And then the bottom, if you go down. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turns on the oven. Oven light. light. Okay. Nice. And then, of course, your hood range. You yep. do have light okay. and exhaust. Mm -hmm. And then right here is where you're going to keep track solar. of your solar. So okay. I know your solar does keep the battery charged. Okay. Other than that and how you use this and all that stuff, I don't know. I'll look it up. There's a manual in the back okay. for you. <laughs> one, of you good days, yeah. one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to figure this out. All right, standard microwave located right here. Okay. And then you have this fridge. All right. Located right here. Now this is an, um, an item that runs pulls off of that battery, so it is cold because it's been gotcha. drink, you know, pulling on the battery yep. and stuff like that. Now and when I'm plugged plug into the site, it'll draw from that. Yeah, yep. it'll help keep that battery charged. Gotcha. Even if you're plugged into a vehicle. Okay. Help. Okay. Cool. Your controls are over here on the side, I do believe. Uh huh. For that. Yep. yep. And then you know, when you're traveling, you don't want it to just lock her up. Nice. Right okay. Okay. Your fusing um, breakers are located right here. So okay. you have some fuses yep. and then your breakers. All right. It looks like things are labeled. Okay. And then you just pop that back down. All right. Carbon monoxide um, detector, that's the other item that does draw off of the battery at all times. It is hot wired into the unit. Okay. okay? So that's just located right there. Okay. So if there's something beeping down there, that's what's right. going off. Storage in here. And then I'll let you guys take out the bathroom. So you just pull this black knob down, open your lid. No, I can see. And there's four speeds and an off button. Okay. All right. And then I'll get out and let All you right. guys check this out. All right. You do have... So you just spin that to open the, the lid. Yep. And then push the button. You'll All see. Right. And then you guys do have the water saving system in there. The water miser. Yep. Yep. Cool. All right. All right. And then, of course, your two bunks. Yep. You have your top bunk, yep. and then this one will have the ladder on the right. of it. And that's the one that flips up for storage. Okay, yep. cool. Your own hinges, mm -hmm. and then you can also access right through here. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thermostat is located right here. So right. with this one, you would just click it over uh -huh. and then get you know what Where you want, and then you can read your temperature right there. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. And then your slide out. So these are poppies. Okay. Okay, and right in the middle. And then your camera, which we'll finish hooking, you know, okay. into your vehicle. I'll get that all taken out and stuff like that. that this one is up to you. Oh, if you okay. want to use that, it's pretty simple. Right. That's something just to keep track of your Right. Air pressure, air and your pressure, and temperature, yep. and, and your tires. Okay. Yep. And then you do have a remote for your TV and remote for the radio. Okay. And then right inside here is all your manuals and instructions and stuff like that. Your bike rack, your okay. inverter, your toilet, your solar panel, okay. user manual, air conditioning on how to set your code for your 
doorknob if you guys wanted to have a coat on there. Gotcha. Cool. And then just more camping information and more warranties and manuals okay. and stuff in there for you. All right. I'll have all that probably underneath this. Okay. One of these things. All right. Perfect. This table right here comes off this and then back there in the bracket it just lifts, lifts up. Okay. And you can lay it right here on just these there. little black okay. things. And then you would just fold. Yep. The you cover just down right and, off. Yep. Yep. And like I said, you have this one don't open. Okay. This one this is one a drawer. Does. Yep. Yep. So that one's a okay. drawer. Red and then this here. drawer right here. Uh huh. This is for that where you would put okay. your water filter. Okay. 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 So you would take the drawer off, which is you have a full extended little black one. One goes down, and one comes up. These little black. Okay. Clicky tabs. Okay. Yep. So one goes down, one goes up. You pull the drawer out. This guy right here. That clear. Yes. Yes, I see. So it. you would use that to loosen it. And okay. Then you can Stick the it. filter in and yep. then screw it back yep. on. And that's okay. how you do that. Your inverter is located right underneath on that side. All right. And then the button for that if you need that. Okay. For like an extra that's boost on your outlets for like charging computers and okay. stuff like that. Okay. And that's mainly when we're boondocking and not on electric yeah. power. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You also have this one right here. Okay. Push oh. it, pull it up. You have outlets and phone charging there. Okay. And then when you're done with it, okay. just click it and push it back right. down. Okay. Nice. TV, which is pretty explanatory, it's 12 volt, it yep. does have a DVD player, okay. and then of course your remote, and then all your um, power buttons and stuff okay. like that. Your Wi-Fi Ranger, if you need to use that, right. and then your um, radio, so okay. you just hit on, and when this comes on, turn it down. you have Bluetooth compatibility, AM, FM, auxiliary, your zone one and zone two. Okay. Zone one is inside the camper. Uh -huh. Zone two is that speaker outside. The okay. Camper. Okay. So I can turn it off and just have one, or I can turn this one off and just have two. Oh, so you can have one, the other, or both. Yep. Gotcha. Or however you want. And then when you guys are ready to shut this off, you want to hold it. Hold it in. Until it says standby, and then you know it's off Power's when down. that turns red. Okay. But sometimes people just hit it, and, and then it's still on, and then drawn off. Drawn battery. Yep. Gotcha. With your blinds, this one, the 40, and you just pull okay. and push. Okay. Storage right. up here. Yep. And I think these are your rollers. Roller. Okay. Yep. And then the emergency exit, so you would just take that out okay. and push. Push. And you can also use it just, just to open a, it. Uh, yeah. yeah to get that you can just play with a little bracket there, and it'll lock in somehow. All right. All right. Okay. I think I cover everything. Is this a heated mattress? Um, I didn't see any okay. equipment for it, so okay. probably not. Right. So it might have been a substitution out. Huh? Well, because when we when we um, were Order. purchasing, it was at that time it was heated. Yeah, and but the I know that there's been stopped doing stop that. Doing okay. The only ones that I know that they come actually with are the Ruse. Okay. And that's just because they're like the pop-up ones. Gotcha. And so they've kind of stopped doing the heating mattress. Yeah, and uh, I'm okay with that. Yep. It's okay. Yep. Okay. I just didn't know if it was not deal a deal breaker. breaker. No, 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 no absolutely no. not. Yeah, I think it's just the supply and demand mm -hmm. situation going on. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see the little white You're right. cord stuff. Right. I didn't it. check the toilet, did you? Huh? Did you check the toilet? What do you mean check your toilet? I didn't know if they had to sub that out or if we got the... Porcelain toilet? No, oh, it's a porcelain that's the one. Yep. yep. Because those are in. I, demand I know, I, I've been watching, I'm on the, the website. Them. Yeah, every once in a while you'll get one and every once in a while you won't. It just depends on if they have gotcha. the supply in the factory and yeah. the manufacturer. Because there's yeah. some people who are like, well I thought I was getting porcelain. I was like, well they must not have any that's in there. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> You want a camper or you want to wait for a porcelain toilet, there right? Yeah. At this good. point, we've waited six months. We're good. Go. <laughs> You're ready to go, aren't you? All right. Well, I'll get you back over to Miss K. Okay. And we'll get everything shut up, leveled up, and get you hooked up. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I don't remember how to turn it off.